What's going on? My name is Zelprince. Welcome back to yet another reaction video. And today I got another Five Nights at Freddy's reaction video for today. But this time, it's different because it's analog horror. And I've seen quite a bunch of these pop up over the last few months or so, or at least a year by this point. And I never decided to once hop on it, but it's also been a long time since I've reacted to anything scary later. The last time I could physically remember or mentally remember reacting to any scary related series was with Kane Pixel, and he hasn't uploaded any backroom videos in quite a while. And before you say anything, I did see he's been posting something else, a new series of his, and I because I saw a 40 or so minute long video he posted a few days ago. So I will be checking out that series down the road as more videos get posted and the sun just got very bright. And Taz is here because she won't leave me alone. Um, but today, we're going to be checking this out. It's a 30 minute long video called Police Archive. It's FNAF, FNAF VHS tape videos. It, I believe it's a collage of a bunch of other videos that have come out over the last year or so. And I never got a chance to really look into it. I just didn't feel like it at the time. But now, now I want to check it out. So with that being said, hopefully the sun doesn't get too bright and Taz leaves me alone for this video before she tries to jump on my lap, because for like the last 10 minutes before I started recording this, she tripped, kept trying to jump on me, even though I said I would play with her later. She always chooses this time to try and play with me. I don't know why. Every time I try and do reaction videos. But other than that, this video is going to be getting way too long. And let's get right into today's video. In three, two, one, boom. I'm ready to get scared. It's been a while. Now, I've never seen any of these. So, this is going to be a first time for me. Hello, gentlemen. I'm Special Agent Edwards Turn of the FBI. And this is my partner, Agent Wallace. Glad to meet you, too. I'm Detective William Bradley. I'm in charge of this investigation. And this is a Police Sergeant David Miller. Okay, good. She's going to lay down. Please, take a seat. All right, so... Uh, go ahead and give us the rundown on this case. Everything you guys know and everything you guys are suspicious of. If I'm not mistaken, this is a case of a serial murder. Is that correct? Yes, sir, as well as theft and bribery, among others. Now, this relates back to a string of disappearances that started popping up about a year ago, all relating back to a kid's entertainment company called Fast Bear Entertainment. This first case involves a man named Sean Roberts, whose family told us was a paranormal investigator. On the night of August 19th, 1985, around 2 o'clock, he was hired to look into the company's supernatural occurrences. However, his family reported that same morning that he hadn't come home and has been missing ever since. Now, originally we suspected that he had been kidnapped, but uh, witnesses who lived close to the restaurant strip mall lead us to believe a different story. They reported hearing a lot of gunshots, some recognized it as a shotgun blast, that came from the parking lot during the, the 12 night. Gauge. When we arrived on scene after a disturbance call about it that evening, we found shattered glass from a broken window pane that landed on the outside of the building. We did manage to find a small blood sample on the ground as well as fingerprints off the victim's equipment, confirming that this was him and he had indeed been murdered. However, we found nothing giving us any idea of who the actual killer was. So we asked the company if they might have caught the event on camera. Their response was that Mr. Roberts had requested that the building's power be shut off and that the building's entrance doors be unlocked for him to enter. So, with the prospect of literally anybody being able to enter the building at any time, nobody could exactly prove that the company itself was involved. So. We eventually just passed this case off as some crack job who stumbled on the unlocked door, figured he'd try to score himself a payday by robbing the place, saw Mr. Roberts approaching the building, and then shot him through the window to ensure no witnesses. Afterwards, he spent the rest of the time before we got there doing the best to clean up after himself. And then another case came up about a few months after that, on March 15th, 1986. The family of a mechanic for Afton Robotics, their LLC sister company, filed a report about their missing son, Matthew Walker. Again, we arrived at the restaurant and found no tangible evidence of a crime that was committed, so the second time we asked if the company had any idea about this event, or again, had maybe caught it on camera. You know, it's also really random for me to say, but it's also a fact. The police don't get too much involved with the events of Finance or Freddy's. So it's interesting to see a takeaway from the police perspective when it comes to the Fazbear company. Which is something you don't really see too often. Because the police are only involved when it comes to the missing children, and that's it. That's the only time we really hear about them. Ever in this franchise. Again, they said no, and when they looked back at the camera footage, they yeah, cut off a bunch of time that could have happened. So they inferred that maybe that their building power had randomly shut off. 
So again, nobody's the time to prove they were responsible for his disappearances, but I think we both know lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice. So we kept a closer eye on him this time. Finally, the smoking gun case that told us something fishy was going on was uh, the disappearance of Jacob Carter, who was a new hire for the company and reported missing after he didn't come back for his first night shift on October 29th, 1986. Again, no evidence of a crime could be found anywhere, but this time when we asked the company for the footage, they agreed, but discovered it had, quote, mysteriously gone missing as soon as they went to look for it. So you all start to sense a pattern here. Three missing people are gone without a trace, and a suspiciously uncooperative company are seemingly covering up these incidents. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Do also bear in mind that all of this is on top of four extra missing kids cases relating to the company as well. I uh, unfortunately don't have the documents on hand with me right now since they were just requested by our CSIs a few minutes before this, but what I do still have is everything that happened afterwards, which is pretty much just shows that all these cases resulted in successful lawsuits by their respective families, costing the company millions in reparations and bringing them closer to bankruptcy. I see. What about this guy you caught last night? How does he fit into all this? <clears throat> well, as of now, he's confessed to being the one responsible for everything we just mentioned. In front of you is everything we could find on him in our archives. So After. He confessed that he murdered the four kids, Gabriel Martin, Jeremy and Susie Collins, and finally Fritz Robinson, as well as the additional three cases we just talked about, claiming that they were too close to discovering the truth. Which is? Well, that's the other thing. He's been real picky about which questions he answers. We asked where the bodies were, he said nothing. We asked how long he's been doing this, he said nothing. And he's even avoided questions just relating to his side of the story. Not sure why he wants to still keep secrets from us now even after letting the cat out of the bag. Also, his responses don't seem very genuine. Don't seem genuine? Are you sure he's not just trying to throw you guys off? Agent Edwards, I've served with this police department sergeant for 25 years. I know when people are lying to my face. Well, if there's a confession, then this sounds like an open and shut case to me. So what are you guys trying to say right now? Well, we just think the situation is a bit too good to be true. A guy gets away with seven murders and now all of a sudden decides to stop hiding his tracks. It was too easy to catch him. I'll say, son of a bitch pretty much cuffed himself. Didn't try to fight, resist, escape, nothing. So what? Maybe he felt guilty and turned himself in. Thought he could pull a fast one on us last night and we got him. All I'm saying is that there could be more to this case than was immediately apparent. Could be parts of this that we don't know or aren't seeing quite yet. Well, unfortunately the court doesn't care about could be's. They're only concerned about what we can prove. Now, is there anything else you haven't shown us yet that proves these claims more broadly? There is one thing, and it's another major reason we brought you guys in. One of our officers managed to record the whole ordeal that happened last night. However, there are definitely parts of this tape that we cannot show to the public. At least not yet. All right, Dad. Show us what you got. Okay. Here we go. Into the scariness. The sun will dial down one? in a few minutes. Let's see. Yep, it says recording. All right, good. Should be coming up on them fairly soon. Which way are they heading? Should be the same direction we're going, just not exactly sure how far up they are. Keep an eye on both sides, though. Oh shit, is that them? Might be. It looks like it fits the bill. Why the hell are they driving so slow? Hmm, I don't know. They're probably trying to decide what to do. Let's go ahead and photo it in now before they try something. 3 Echo 10 to dispatch, over. 3 Echo 10, go ahead. Yeah, we got a possible jackpot in the Bolo 4982 white GMC box truck currently heading northbound on 99. Roger, ready for the flight details. That LP is going to be Juliet Golf Kilo 245. That's Juliet Golf Kilo 245. And it's a Wisconsin plate over. Three Echo 10, that's a positive ID. Vehicles reported stolen from a rental service a few days ago and is now involved with an ongoing investigation. Multiple units reported seeing a brand logo on the side of the vehicle, though. So the vehicle may be bought by the company, and this report may be a mistake. We pretty much just need to figure out if they actually own the vehicle or not. 10 for dispatch, thanks for the assist. Alright, let's pull them over. <laughs> oh 
Okay. okay. I'm gonna walk over to the driver's side and tell what's going on, see if we can get this squared away. Sit tight, be ready to back me up, alright? Yes, sir. Alright. Sounds like a rookie in the, in the left hand. I mean, right hand. Are off. All right. Do you know why I stopped you just now? Well, there's a bolo, or be on the lookout for this particular model of vehicle. Now, I ran your plate just now, and my dispatcher told me that this vehicle was reported stolen by a rental service. Uh huh. Yeah. So far, so good. In front of the same for me. I'm gonna take care of the registration out here so I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, sure thing. Three Echo 10 to dispatch. Three Echo 10, what you got? Got a commercial license I need you to check out for me. Ready for the details. License number is gonna be 126 26679. That's 126 26679. First name Oscar, last name Master. M-A-S-T-E-R. He's a 34-year-old white male with short brownish black hair. Over. Uh, I'm not coming up with anything. Can I get a 10 on the number? One, two, six, two, six, six, seven, nine. I feel like something's gonna go wrong. I got no one listed under that name. Is it expired? Negative dispatch. License says it'll expire in 92. Roger. It might be a false ID. Description sounds familiar, so they might be the guys the other unit saw. Well, they seem to be acting pretty calm pulling something like this, but... I'll tell my partner and we'll bring him in. Thanks for the help. Ten four. Hey, Daryl! Yeah, what's up? This is a fake ID. Shit, really? Just read the details to dispatch twice, and they came up with nothing both times. Well, is it expired? No. Look, it says it expires in 92. Damn. Okay, then. All right, I'm going to get the driver out in a cuffs. Go ahead and walk around back and make sure his friend doesn't take off running. Okay, will do. There goes one officer. Dale's down. Three Echo 10, 10. Officer, officer down, down. shots fired. Don't, Don't move. move, show, show me your hands, hands. now! Drop what's in your hands and step, step out, out of the truck. truck. You, you deaf, deaf motherfucker, I said! Uh. Okay, Foxy just ate him. Just stick to the plan, come on. Why did the, the Foxy animatronic go with them? The Echo 10 to dispatch.
dispatch. Can you read me? You've been cut off. Can anyone hear me right now? Oh, fucking great. Radio's broke. Daryl! Daryl, you still with me, buddy? Your buddy's dead. God damn it, man. I'll make him fucking pay for this. This is 3 Echo 10. I got an officer down on 999 North. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. Over. Does anyone read me? Ah, Freedom's busted too. Fuck. At least he was able to get the word out before he got God attacked it, by Darryl. Foxy. The one time we need a spare. Hug. All right. Think. Think. Um. I'm not that far from the city, so someone must have heard all this. Wait a minute. Where the hell they go? Why didn't they just take off in the truck? Oh, they're up to something. They have to be. Is this thing still rolling? Oh shit, it is. Okay. I'm surprised the Chica and Bonnie and Electronic haven't works. moved yet. Alright. It looks like they went off the right in this direction. So let's see if I can catch up to them. I don't care what that thing is. No one's getting away from me that easily. Not after what they did tonight. Also, I lied. I, the Pink and Pixel backroom videos weren't the last ones I reacted to. The last few videos I reacted to that were horror related were the Poppy Playtime videos, but I think those were earlier this year, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. At least those are the last ones I can remember off the top of my head. What is this place? Looks abandoned. Or at least pretty run down gotta be a mall or something. What the hell are they doing in a place like this? Yeah, this must be where they broke in. in. Or at least where someone broke in. Jesus, this place definitely looks bigger on the inside. I mean, it looks fairly intact, but my god, did they let this place go. Okay, here we go. Here's where the creep factor completely sets in. Got my one sip in before I accidentally throw my cup. <laughs> These are the old businesses. According to the thumbnail, the ju a jump scare should be here somewhere. Because it was in a hallway. Architecture looks super retro, though. This place had to be built in, like, the late 60s to early 70s, at least. I just don't know where it was. I wonder if there's still... Uh... No way! <laughs> How is there still power in this place? Well, if there is still power, hopefully the phones here still work. I gotta make sure backup knows I'm here, otherwise they'd be looking everywhere to try and find where the action is. I think that's a map right there. Let's see if I can find the office buildings. Okay, let's see. Office, 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 office... Uh, ah, here, okay. Second floor on the east side. Alright. Let's see if those phones still work. So hopefully I can redirect the cavalry over here to help me catch these guys. Something's gonna happen on the escalator. Or the other two and I'm trying to activate. <gasps> Wait. How long until the rest show up? From where we are, it'll take him at least five to ten minutes, but they don't even know we're here, so we've got time. What if they check here first? Will you quit your fucking bitching and hand me the pliers? Ah, uh, I see. They're scrappers. 
I wonder what they need all that for, though. But where's the foxy animatronic, dude? And why are you getting close? Okay, I got it. Open the bag. I heard that! Who's there? Hey! Who's that? Oh, fuck it. MCPD! Hands up! Now! How the fuck? Got a machine gun? to get one? You guys think this is a fucking game? Come on with your hands up! Now! Oh, wait, it's the Foxy animatronic! What the hell? Holy shit! That is creepy. to it screaming. Dude, find something to fight with. You can only see its eyes. I would not be surprised if it sees you. Too, if I was being chased in the middle I of the night. Up here now. How many rounds did you put into Foxy? Oh, come on. There we go. God damn it, it's locked. Dig it. Dig it. Uh, oh, fuck it. Uh. Ah! <laughs> ah, fuck it. <laughs> oh, such a genuine response. Yes, it still works. All right, let's send in the cavalry. It's such a genuine response. Come on, come on, pick up! I'm looking in that corner to see if anything starts coming. Yeah, this is Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD. We got shots fired at Northview Mall, east of I-99 North. I got two armed and dangerous suspects with machine pistols, both in all black and ski masks. Physical description unknown. My partner's down and unresponsive. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. This sound like a fucking prank call to you, lady? Both me and my partner's radios are busted. What do you want me to do? Thank God this phone still works, otherwise I'd have no way to reach you guys. I think I heard something. Ah, shit! Just give me some backup, damn it! He's 
handling this situation very well, though. I must give him that. Chris! What? He's still alive! He got to one of the phones! Ah, fucking shit. All right, we've only got three more spots after this. We better hit those quick. Where's your robot? I don't know. Try to call it back. You know, I'm almost tempted to leave that useless piece of shit here. We can't let the cops find it. It's got to come with us. <sighs> don't make me regret this. Come on, we're on the clock. I make a run for it for now, man. Shit, Jesus! Oh, the guy, the robot's back. I can't really see it. What the fuck? I can't see anything. Did it just walk past him? There he is! Oh, shit! Does it? <sighs> Robots don't do well with electricity. At least external electricity. Uh, didn't think that would actually work. Oh, here they come. In time. He's gonna fall down. Or not. I'm actually surprised. Clyde, MCPD! Wait, Clyde? Y yeah! Yeah, Sarge, it's me! Holy shit! Stand down! He's with us! I thought we had lost you. Why the hell didn't you report in? Both mine and Daryl's radios were busted, sir. Only so much I could do at the time. Managed to find a working phone, and that's how I called you guys in. I see. Where's Daryl, then? Wasted, Sarge. Got shot up pretty bad. I think he's dead. Damn it! All right, where is he? Down by my vehicle, right next to the stolen truck on 99, not too far from here. Pretty sure my lights are still on, so it'll be hard to miss. Go down, secure the part of the highway, and get medical down there as fast as you can. Yes, sir. Alpha Squad, on me. You hurt? I got my head bashed pretty hard and I'm shot in my thigh. Other than that, though, I'll live. Can you fight? I'll try. All right, good. We need all the help we can get before they escape. What do they look like? Hard to tell. Both of them were in ski masks and all black. It seemed like Daryl got a good look at them with their masks off. Though it's not like he can give you a description of them now. One of them has a machine pistol and I think the other guy's got a regular one. One of them's name is Chris, but I didn't catch the other guy's name. When's the last time you saw him? Down this way. I think they're still here, but we gotta go now. Alright. Bravo! Charlie! Sweep this building! Let's smoke these guys out! The rest of you are on me! Let's move! Hell yeah, now we got a fighting chance. 
Hopefully the fox animatronic is still down. I don't think he is. <laughs> I think he's still active. I think he came back online. Hands up. All Get you do is got on. Let me see your hands. Drop the gun. Drop the gun and put your hands up. Drop the gun and show us your hands. Not gonna go down fighting. They're gonna go down fighting these Alpha guys. One, Alpha. The pin's down. The assistant's on the second floor. He's down! Throw neutralized! All units, suspect down. Repeat, suspect eliminated. Whoever took the shot, get hit. It was a clean kill. Remember, he's not alone. Finish clearing this place and fall in with us. We're not done here yet. Any idea where his friend might be? I think that answers your question. Fallen! On me! Door. Police department, come out with your hands up! I can't have the door stuck! I can't open it! Hands up now! Face the wall on your fucking knees! What's your name? Identify yourself! Henry! Henry Emily! Oh shit, it's Henry! That's how it ends. I didn't expect it to end like that, especially so abruptly. So that was Henry. The other guy whose name was Chris. That would explain why he wanted the animatronics a lot. No normal scrapper would just take animatro animatronics. I got the hiccups now from the water. It wasn't as scary as I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be a lot more scary. But to me, it wasn't... Really? That's scary. I'll have to find some more scarier ones down the line. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. It was definitely different in terms of what I usually do. And I will definitely check out more in the future. So if you guys want to see more, please like and subscribe all this stuff, guys. And I will see you in the next reaction video. Bye!